In the last video of CRP series, we had demonstrated the procedure of qualitative method where we observed whether the serum is negative or positive only. Today we will learn what is the next step after we found the serum positive for CRP. In this method, we will quantify the CRP level in milligram per liter following serial dilution technique. This method is called the semi-quantitative method. In this method, the first thing we have to do is to prepare serial dilutions of serum sample which we previously found positive in qualitative method. Serial dilution, meaning we have to dilute the sample by using isotonic saline in a ratio of 1 is to 2, 1 is to 4, 1 is to 8, 1 is to 16, 1 is to 32, 1 is to 64, and so on. The idea is, we will dilute the serum serially in different concentration by adding saline preparation and test each of those diluted serum will observe up to which point the agglutination is being positive. That point will be the highest dilution of the serum at which the agglutination occurs. To prepare the serial dilution of serum, first we will take a test card having six circles and label the circle 1 to 6 as 1 in 2, 1 in 4, 1 in 8, 1 in 16, 1 in 32, and 1 in 64. Now, you have to place 50 microliter of normal saline on each circle by a micropipette. Then, place 50 microliter of serum sample on circle 1 and mix it properly by pressing the plunger of micropipette 3 to 4 times and take 50 microliter of this mixture from circle 1, place it on circle 2, and mix again. Again take 50 microliter from circle 2, and place it into circle 3, and mix. Take same amount from circle 3, transfer to circle 4, mix. Again take same amount from circle 4, transfer into circle 5, mix. Again take back same amount from circle 5, transfer into circle 6, mix. Now discard the last 50 micro litter from the circle 6. Done. We got our serum sample diluted serially, and it's ready now for adding CRP latex reagent. Now, add one drop of 50 micro litter of CRP latex reagent on each of the circle, from circle 1 to circle 6. Rock the slide back and forth like this, or place the test card on mechanical rotator at 100 rpm for 2 minutes to let the reaction to be processed. Now observe carefully for agglutination in each circle. Notice, agglutination has occurred up to circle 3. So 1 in 8 is found the highest diluted serum up to which the agglutination is observed. Now, we will do a math to obtain the CRP level. The equation states, CRP is equal to S into D, where S means sensitivity of the reagent, that is 6 mg per liter, and D means the highest dilution of serum, showing agglutination. So, in this case, we found the CRP level is 48 mg per liter. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. See you in my next project. Good day.